A silent epidemic looms over Northern Ireland, touching lives in every community. Addiction and substance abuse is an issue we have been neglecting for too long. Lives destroyed, families torn apart. Between 2001 and 2021, there have been a staggering 2,279 drug-related deaths in Northern Ireland. Alcohol being the most widely consumed and available has led to 350 deaths in 2021 alone. There are over four times the amount of drug-related deaths in deprived areas. Using the NISRA map of deprived areas, we can see there is a correlation. Belfast accounts for 35.2% of deaths, whilst Derry and Strabane accounts for 117 In economically deprived areas, there simply isn't the resources that are needed to help the people who are suffering through addiction. Well, my name is Jonathan, I'm the chairperson of Hurt, and I have been involved with Hurt since 2014, or 2012, sorry. I was 11 when I first tried alcohol, um, and then by the age of 17, 18, I was fully addicted to alcohol. I moved from the family home to the Strand Foyer, and that's when I started drinking a lot more. Now, but that was also the first place that sort of says, look, we, we might have a problem here. And that was when I was about 18, 19. Um, and then it was 10 years before I fully accepted that I was an alcoholic. I started coming in to Hurt in 2008 as a client. I was struggling with alcohol from a young age. And then in 2012, City sort of says, look, you need, might need a, a purpose, help you out. So as a youth worker at that time, she sort of, we had a youth foreman here. Um, so I was, came on board with that. And that sort of freed my week up from addiction so I had a purpose so I wasn't drinking every day of the week it was more you know focused at the weekend when I had nothing on so that sort of helped me a bit to get sort of on the straight and narrow a bit more a lot of people see you know, were saying oh sure you didn't drink that much you know it didn't you know you can have one you can do this you can do that um which I find strange because like as somebody in recovery, you, you would expect people to be supportive rather than, oh, sure, you can have one. Sure, it wasn't that much of a problem. Um, but my experience, if it starts affecting your life, whether it's family, personal life, just your day to day, and you have cravings for it, doesn't matter. There's no sort of qualifying limit for to being addic addicted to something. You know, once it affects your life and your personal life and your family life, then it's a problem. There's no sort of set limit. You're the last person to know as an addict. Like everybody will tell you you're an addict um, or you're addicted. And you're, you're the last person to know. And that's probably the hardest thing because you're in so much denial and hurt. Um, and it's eventually listening to those people um, and saying, actually, maybe do you have a problem? Like for me, it was when I, the breakdown of a, a relationship with my with an ex-girlfriend that I realized I had a problem with alcohol. And when I told other people, most of them were like, yep, we've been telling this for years. Um, so I would suggest if you ask somebody that you trust, do you think I have a problem? And if they say, I don't bite their head off, sort of listen to them, because that's the first step is sort of acknowledging that you have a problem. And then once you acknowledge it, then you go down the route of like, how do I stop this? The way we look at addiction has to change. The current approach of imprisoning addicts is a doomed to fail strategy. Behind each statistic lies a story of loss, of dreams shattered, and families torn apart. Addiction can take many forms, from gambling, alcohol, drugs, and much more. The journey ahead is far from over, and will take time and patience, but we must step it up and offer our compassion and aid to those in need, right on our front doorstep. You can get involved yourself, whether it's by supporting a local organisation, advocating for policy change, or simply talking to a family member or loved one if you or they are struggling with addiction. 